I just sold all of my XRP. Well, actually, something just changed. That was a video I did on August 16th, and I'm going to show it to you in just a second. And something massive has just changed with XRP. As a matter of fact, today, price of XRP is coming down pretty heavily. Just a second ago, it was down 10%. I believe as of the, the filming of this video, we're down about 9%. And the reason why I sold it in August 16th, and I got a lot of hate for it, I'll show you some of that too, was because I saw something coming and it was an action by the SEC. We're going to go over that. I'm going to talk to you about what just changed and what I did. And so let's just dive right in. We're going to check this story out first. Well, actually, let's look directly at the live price of XRP. Right now, XRP is sitting at uh, 52 cents. And as of just a little bit ago, XRP was down almost 10%. On the week, we're looking at a, almost 12% down on just the week. Well, why is that happening? Now, really quick, I want to throw out something. If you've never owned XRP or Bitcoin or anything like that, until 8 p.m. tonight, we're doing we're selling the Bitcoin 101 uh, course. And this is for people that have never experienced cryptocurrency in any form. They like to learn it, but you wanna learn it, how to uh, invest in it in a safe manner. And this course is, course is for you. And until 8 p.m. tonight, it's going to be actually $10 off of the pre-filming discount of, uh, I think it's what, $69 until 8 p.m., all right? So let's dive into this a little bit more. Um, let me start here with the video that I did on August 16th, and I got a ton of hate for it. So check this out. I'm only going to play about 30 seconds. Well, it's official. I have sold my cryptocurrency my Bitcoin, my XRP, my Solana. And the reason why I wanted to do this video is I wanna explain why. And before we dive in, I've got a story about it. I wanna explain a couple of different things. None of this is financial advice, but I will always tell you what I'm doing to possibly spur interest or thoughts, provoke ideas inside of you to make you a better, more successful investor. Um, I do personally believe that cryptocurrency is the greatest technology next to the internet, the decentralized ledger. It is unbelievable, but it takes a little bit of time to study it and understand its ins and outs. However, I still have a core position that's stored away in cold storage that I've had ever since uh, January of 2017, okay? I have a trading uh, account that I have completely went to cash. And I have actually done a handful of videos in the last couple of months telling you when I went to cash, when I purchased something, and what I'm doing without fancy graphics, uh, charts, and all that kind of stuff, because I want people to understand the basics without a bunch of fluff, uh, without pulling up in a Lamborghini in a, in a suit. I want people to understand that they could be successful in all kinds of ventures if taught the proper way. All right, so we're going to stop right there. And what I'm going to show you next is this. Uh, I did that video. We streamed it live on August, uh, I believe it was 16th. And so what we're going to do is we're going to pump back in here really quick to, let me see if I could find my video. We're going to X out of this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you if I can get there. Here we go. This is going to be XRP's price as of the date that I made this video. Now, mind you, the story was that I sold my XRP, Solana, and Bitcoin. So it took me a couple of days to do my exit positions. By the time that I, when I sold my XRP, it was at 64 cents. All right. I had done two videos like this prior in the summer. And each time I'd sold my XRP, I got a lot of hate. And then I was buying it back between 10 and 15% uh, a lesser price. So I bought 10 to 15% more coins, right? I increased my position because I do have a long-term hold on, for me personally, on XRP. I believe it is a great investment. That's just me. No financial advice here, okay? Um, to give you an idea of the scope, my trading account, how big of a deal that was to make that video on August 16th, uh, equated to, um, it was three times larger than my long-term uh, holding that I have in cold storage on XRP, okay? So it was a big deal for me. And so if you look right here on August 16th, you'll see I sold, here we go, right here, on on my account, it actually closed in it, even though it shows 61 cents here. Um, sorry, hold on. Yeah, 61 cents here. 
It actually closed on my um, trading account at 64 cents. I had a limit order. Um, then I sold my Bitcoin and I sold my Solana. All right. You'll see that the video came out right here on the 16th. And we'd already started to see a little bit of a price dip. And I said in my video, in that video that I just showed you, that I'd sold at 64 cents. Now, obviously it went up here and I got a lot of people mocking me for about a week and a half. You could see down in the uh, comment section, the first one right here, selling a course on buying crypto after you just sold all your crypto, right? It's like a clown move. Now we're looking at a price of 52 cents. So I sold it at 64 and I'm waiting for a pullback. But you'll notice by the chart, and this is very important, even though you had this, this uptick and I was an idiot, everyone thought right there, it came down to 52, but I still didn't buy it yet, right? Now, twice before I had bought crypto right here and I did a video where I just bought XRP, it was like 48 cents. It dipped down a little bit, but then it shot up and you could see where I, I'd actually made that sell and I, I did a video and then I did this other one. So I've increased my XRP holdings multiple times by a lot. All right, on a percentage basis. Well, now if you see this peak right here at 64 cents and now it's completely getting clobbered at 52 and I believe there's still a little bit of weakness but I have repurchased more back at a lower price. I've been layering into this trade uh, and putting it away in cold storage for my long-term hold position on XRP. It's because of this. This is what I was preparing for. Story out of the... Um, it was the verge the sec is now appealing a federal court's ruling on ripple so now that's extending so what i was doing was i was selling the rumor now what's happening is everyone is actually selling the news i was ahead of this and so that's why you're seeing a lot of this ripple was fined 125 million for defrauding institutional investors but it was a tiny fraction of the two billion dollar fine the sec asked for i was expecting for this to happen and the SEC had a time date of, I wanna say October 6th or 7th, and now it's happening. So this is causing some people to panic, but I'm not panicking, I'm purchasing, uh, layering in, and I believe that um, uh, this price is excellent, but I do believe there could be further weakness. Now I wouldn't take my advice on that, but the charts are showing that we could see a little bit more weakness on X in the next few weeks, right? We could also see it bound up because we're seeing a ton of institutional investors buying XRP. Now it says here, the, secu the SEC is appealing, appealing a federal judge ruling in its year long battle against Ripple over the sales of its XRP token. It says this now extends the battle over whether Ripple violated securities laws as an SEC spokesperson told Coindesk. They said, we believe that the district court decision in Ripple matter in the Ripple matter conflicts with decades of Supreme Court presidents and securities laws and look forward to making our case to the Second Circuit. So what they're doing, and it says it right here, um, the New York judge fined Ripple 125 million despite the SEC asking for a much higher penalty of 2 billion. So that's what they're gonna be fighting over. Hey, we want more money from you, right? So there's gonna be some give and some take. But right now it doesn't stop the fact that people are selling, we cans are selling on this news even though people like myself expected this, all right? Now, check this out. This is why I have no problem buying a little bit more and holding it off for the future. This story right here, it says, breaking news, Bitwise files for XRP ETF. This is a big deal. Not just the Bitwise, because I'm gonna be honest, I don't think it's gonna go through right now. But my point being is that you are gonna see more and more um, filings for people that are buying hedge funds, banks, um, funds that are slowly accumulating XRP. And if, if you look at these charts, the volume is impressive. I'll show you that in just a second. But actually, I don't even know if this chart shows it. Um, ever since, if we go back to all and we watch, you can't see it here, but on certain exchanges, volume has ticked up very significantly ever since December of, uh, was it 2022, when the, when the uh, SEC came out against, its, against Ripple? You're seeing large buyers come in and the XRP reach rich list is proving that uh, we are seeing massive, massive amounts of um, what's it called? Uh, institutional buying happening because the largest wallets are getting bigger and bigger. It says here, asset manager Bitwise has reportedly filed a spot exchange traded fund for Ripple, XRP, the seventh largest crypto by market cap. Bitwise's XRP ETF application uh, was filed on uh, September 30th in the state of Delaware Fox Business journalist Eleanor Trennett, Trennett shared on X late Tuesday. 
And it says here, at a time of the writing, the XRP was 82 cents, which was a 2.7% decrease over the last 24 hours. Now, here's the point that I want to make, and this is very important people understand. I don't necessarily think that this ETF is going to go through, okay? But that's the same thing with Bitcoin. Uh, as uh, this last ETF was finalized, and, and now many ETFs are being made with Bitcoin, before that, there are lots of people filing for these ETFs, and they're getting turned down by the SEC. But I do believe that in 2025, we are going to see an XRP uh, ETF, which will push tons of money into those funds, whereas certain funds cannot invest in crypto directly. They can invest in a crypto ETF. So that money is going to create immense buying power for XRP. All right. Look, the truth is you need to not only learn how to invest in crypto and understand the fundamentals and then how to invest it, buy it safely, secure it, learn all of the basics, right? That's why I put together Bitcoin 101 with an amazing uh, person that uh, taught most of this, a, uh, a best-selling uh, author in the crypto space, that's why I did it. If you want this, it's an insane deal. It's a no-brainer deal until 8 p.m., okay? It's, I want to say, 69 bucks. After that, it's going to go up to pre-filming, and then it's going to keep going up after that. Um, but then you also need to learn how to trade and learn technicals and things like that. And there's an offer in the backside of that as well, if you want to learn that. But the fact of the matter is, is I got a ton of hate on that video, and I challenge you to go watch that video, why I sold my Bitcoin, Solana, and XRP. You'll see that I was right. You know, there's right and wrong. And what I think is really important is when you're wrong to admit it, and I've been wrong plenty of times before, when you nail it and you start nailing it again and again, and you see these trends. And again, I think you could see a little bit more weakness from where we are now. Okay, I'm not saying to wait to buy. I'm not telling you to buy now. I'm not telling you crap. I'm just telling you what I did. I sold it at 64. Everyone mocked me. It's the third time I've done it this summer. And now I'm buying on the way down. I'm buying at this point today, today as we speak. And I'm going to put a little bit more cash, hold it off until it gets weaker. I hope you got something out of this. If you want to check it out, the link's down below. The Economic Ninja is out.